Hello, welcome to the course of Computer Network. So today we are going to discuss about the Internet Routing Protocol. So in this chapter, we will discuss about the various things like starting with the type of routes like static route, dynamic route and default route. After that, we will discuss about static routing protocol and the dynamic routing protocol. So starting with the very first, let's discuss about what is a routing. So here the routing is a process of selecting best path in a network to route the packets. So there are three type of routes, static route, dynamic route and the default route. So here the static route is, are uh, here the static routes are configured manually by network administrator. So when any change in the network occur then administrator manually update the static route according to the changes. So here it means the static route is used for simple and small network and it provides the more secure route. Another one is dynamic route. Here the dynamic routes are the routes which router gets from other router via routing protocol. So here whenever there is any change in the network then the router update the information automatically and it is used in large network and it is a less secure route. After that the another one is default route. So default route is one kind of special route. Here the default route can be configured manually and it also generated by routing protocol such as OSPF. So it is used when a router receive a packet whose destination is not listed in the routing table and here the router transfers the packet to next hop defined by the default route. So default route can be configured by setting destination address and the subnet mask to be zero. Now let's discuss about the static routing protocol. Here the stati a static route is a special route which is configured by network ad administrator manually. So here the static routing is a type of network routing technique which is used for manual configuration and selection of a network route. So it, it, it is used where the network parameters and environments are expected to remain constant. So the advantage and disadvantage of static routing protocol are as follow. Here the advantages are like it requires no overhead information, there is no bandwidth usage between link and it provides the, it forms the highly secure network. Whereas disadvantages are like as here, the, it requires the complete uh, knowledge of the network. Here it, uh, it is not easy to implement on the large network and here all routers have to update manually if network topology changes. Another one is dynamic routing protocol. So here it is used to find best route to forward the packet to the destination. Here the common protocols of dynamic routing protocol are RIP, OSPF, ISIS and BGP etc. So here in dynamic routing protocol, the routers automatically update its routing table according to the change in the network. Here the advantage and disadvantage of dynamic routing protocol are as follow. Here the advantages are like it requires less manual configuration while adding and deleting the network. Here the routers are updated automatically if any change occur in the network and it will provide the more scalable protocol. Whereas the dis disadvantage of this protocol is, is that here it requires more load uh, that is present on the router in the network and here the network knowledge is required and it, it provides the less secure network so this is about the static routing protocol and dynamic routing protocol so this is all about the internet routing protocol thank you